welcome to my week 22 bump date. Um, I think it's just crazy that the weeks keep flying by and that I am 22 weeks pregnant. Um, this is just, I just can't even wrap my head around it. I am uh, noticing just like in uh, the couple weeks leading up to week 20, I'm kind of forgetting what week I am at. I'm always like, wait, am I week 22, 21, 23? Like I can't even keep it straight. Um, but yes, 22 weeks um, today. So this week, baby is the size of a spaghetti squash, which I've never even heard of spaghetti squash before. Um, so that wasn't very helpful, um, but I did read something on my app that said baby is about the size of like a doll. So that makes it a little easier to um, picture it. Also a big milestone this week, baby is now a pound. Um, leading up to this, the baby was just ounces. And so now that it's a pound, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's actually getting big. Like I have just been thinking to myself leading up to this, like, okay, yeah, it's a baby, but like once it gets to a pound, like that's a big deal. And yeah, it's at a pound now, like, ooh. So that's really exciting. Um, more on baby. Um, baby is hearing more and more. It can hear my heart. It. See, I keep calling the baby it. I'm still trying to call him a him. He can hear my heartbeat. He can hear my blood whooshing around. Um, he can hear my voice and he can hear people when they talk to me. Um, so it's really been special. I've been trying to sing to him. Um, and I try to get Anthony to talk to him, although Anthony doesn't usually have much to say. Um, but it's so cool knowing that he can hear me and um, you know we're starting a bond <laughs> baby is starting to grasp things um, and so he is grasping his umbilical cord um, and he is sensing light more and more if I had a flashlight and I showed, showed it on my belly um, he would sense that so um, just growing and developing and I just think it's so cool to read every week what's new um, and then be able to feel it as well. So I am feeling baby kicks um, more and more. Um, some days I'll go um, without very many kicks at all, and I guess that's normal. Um, I did read that the baby sleeps about 14 hours a day, so he is asleep um, most of the time. Uh, but I do feel his kicks. I usually feel it um, in the evening uh, when I get home from work and I'm just sitting on the couch I'll feel it and I'll feel it after meals um, Not so much breakfast, but lunch after lunch I'll feel him and after dinner. I'll feel him as well. And then usually when I'm laying um, uh, To go to bed. I'll feel him as well. So it's been really cool to feel those baby kicks They get stronger and stronger. I still feel like I can like he's doing somersaults and I can feel that. Um, last night I was laying with Anthony cuddling and we could feel him because, you know, parts of my stomach will be, um, you know, squishy and other parts will be hard. So we can tell where he is and I swear he was laying like diagonal last night. It was crazy. Um, but it's fun for me to feel it. Anthony has felt the baby kick multiple times. Um, and so he's very sassy. He likes to let me know like, hey, don't forget, I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know how I could forget, but. So symptoms this week, um, I'm still feeling really great. I'm in my second trimester still and my um, symptoms really haven't been too bad. Um, the most that I've been dealing with is some nights I can get really, really tired. Um, I'm still feeling my like my energy is up most of the time, um, but I do have those nights where I'm just exhausted and I need to go to bed early. Um, I have been getting heartburn here and there, although it's really like usually it's pretty um, minimal and then you know if it gets really bad I can just go and take Tums and it goes away right away and I usually only have to take Tums maybe like once a week or twice a week at most. I have been getting a lot of nose problems. I've, my nose has been runny. It's really bad every morning. I've been sneezing a ton. <clears throat> so that's been kind of annoying to have to deal with. Sometimes um, my stomach won't feel very good um, and I'm not sure if that's just like constipation or baby or I don't know um, but I have been feeling um, sometimes not very often but I do feel like my stomach hurts a little bit 
Um, when I drive around for long periods of time, my back will really hurt. And again, I still have to s sit on my couch with a pillow behind my back. So I've been having a lot of back issues and there's really not much that I can do about it. Um, I know you can go and get massages, but I don't think I want to spend that much on a massage. And then another funny thing that has been happening is my ribs will hurt. Um, and it's usually just on the left side, and it's usually only when I'm sitting, um, and I've been sitting for a while, and like usually in a car or something, but it has been really bugging me. Um, I'm not sure if that's normal or what. Or like if that's you know all my insides being squished or if it's baby I have no idea but my ribs will sometimes hurt I am continuing to gain weight which is awesome um, I never thought I would say that like gaining weight is good um, but like you guys know in the beginning I've been having a really hard time um, gaining weight and I actually lost weight in the very beginning and then for a long time I was just right at zero or at my starting weight, 123. Um, and since then, um, Thanksgiving weekend, I gained a ton of pounds. I think I gained like six or seven pounds just in a weekend, which was not good. I had stretch marks on my boobs, um, not good. And uh, ever since then, I've been able to kind of like tone it down a little bit and I haven't been as hungry. Um, and I think it was just being there at Thanksgiving, there was a lot of snacks all the time, so I was just eating a lot of snacks. And I don't usually snack too much when I'm at my house. So I've been cutting down on it a little more. I'm still eating a ton, but I'm just cutting down on it a little more. And I have been losing like two or three pounds. So um, I, I'll have to weigh myself again, but last time I weighed myself, I was about 135, 136. Um, so still gaining, you know, a good amount of weight. I, when I started at 123, so, you know, 12, 13 pounds. Um, so I think I'm at a good spot. Um, but I'm definitely, you know, weighing myself, just keeping track of that. Uh, like I said in my last video, I cannot wear regular pants anymore. All of my pants have to be maternity pants. And I love maternity pants. I love the stretchy band. Um, and I can have it up if I want, you know, more support on my belly or my belly is cold. Or I can pull it down and it won't bug me. So I love it. Um, shirts. I am wearing a lot of maternity shirts. Um, I can still wear some of my regular shirts if they're really baggy. Um, but I... I have a pile of clothes that don't fit me and it's growing by the day. Um, I'm, I am starting to worry a little bit about what to wear at night. Um, usually I just wear like baggy t-shirts but all my baggy t-shirts are starting to become really tight on me. Um, so I'm not really sure what I should wear at night. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll have to figure that out. I did get one like fleece shirt from the store and it is a maternity um, shirt. Um, to wear at night, but other than that, I don't know, maybe I can borrow some of Anthony's shirts or something because my belly is starting to uh, tug on my shirts and I have no room. <laughs> my belly is definitely getting bigger. Um, I'll show you guys a bump shot later in this video. Um, but no stretch marks yet. I have been using lotion and putting it on daily ever since I first found out I was pregnant. So I'm not sure if that's been helping. I would assume so because if I got stretch marks on my boobs, I would think I would get them on my stomach as well. Um, and so I have started putting lotion on my boobs. Um, it's just the underside of them and I'm not sure if the lotion is going to help or if those stretch marks are just there and I have to deal with it. Um, I'm not sure. I really haven't noticed any like glowing skin or like thicker hair. I have been noticing that my hair um, doesn't fall out quite as much, but it isn't growing as fast as I thought it would. Um, my nails on my fingers are definitely growing really fast though, which is nice because I have a bad habit of biting my nails and stuff, so it's nice to see them grow out and look normal. <laughs> I haven't noticed too much swelling. I still fit in my regular shoes. Um, my ring still fits on my hand. Um, so nothing too much with those. Um, I have been noticing some heart things with me and I'm sure it's normal because I know, you know, as you're pregnant, you are, you know, your blood is supporting baby as well. And so you have to pump twice as fast, your heart does. Um, but I have been noticing sometimes I'll just be sitting um, and not active at all and all of a sudden my heart will just start beating really fast. There was one instant, 
one instance where it beat super fast, like four or five times in a row, and then it w went back to normal. Scared the heck out of me. Anthony was right next to me, and I was like, Anthony, my heart is beating really fast and really nervous. Um, and he was like, it's okay, just calm down, breathe. So, I mean, I was able to get through it. I don't know what that is, but there will be times where I'm just sitting, I'm not doing that much, and my heart will just start beating like crazy. It freaks me out, um, but I haven't been noticing any like fainting or any dizziness or anything like that. So I think it's just my heart just working fast to just support this baby. Cravings, I, I've noticed that in my past couple of videos, I haven't said anything about cravings. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting pregnancy brain. Uh, my cravings, um, they are so weird, um, but I really like mac and cheese and um, root beer. Um, so root beer, um, I had no idea, but I went to um, eat with one of my friends the other day and they had one of those Coke machines where you could, you know, pick a whole bunch of different things and have any flavor you want. And so they had a caffeine free uh, section. So I clicked on that and one of the things was root beer. And um, I was like, oh, I'll just get this. So I tried it and realized that I love root beer. I don't know if I've always loved it or baby loves it, um, but it's a bonus because it's caffeine free. It's still not the best because it is pop. Um, so I still don't drink it. I try not to drink it too much, but now like anytime we go out to a place and they have root beer, I get it. I still get lemonade a lot too, and I love lemonade, but root beer is just really what I like right now. And then mac and cheese, I cannot get enough mac and cheese. Um, Anthony limits me to eating it once a week just because it, it really isn't the best for you. But it tastes so good and I love it. I love, you know, the original mac and cheese. I love homemade mac and cheese. Um, I got to eat a lot of that. Um, at Thanksgiving and then we just went to a Friendsgiving and they had mac and cheese there so I've been getting my fill of mac and cheese and I just absolutely love it I could just eat more and more of it I just it's so good to me so those are kind of the things that I've been craving I'm still craving cookies all the time not good for me but I am I was craving ice cream really bad the other day too um, again nothing crazy like Anthony you need to go out and get me this right now although the one night I did go to the store just to get mac and cheese and root beer so <laughs> I don't know maybe that counts um, but nothing too crazy um, and then my food aversions um, still kind of chicken I'm still wary of it and so I tried to stay away from that as well um, but everything else I don't think I've really had any other food aversions. I did smell um, black olives the other day and it was really gross and I mean I've never liked black olives to begin with but for some reason the smell was just really potent and I had wanted nothing to do with that. Um, and still broccoli, the smell of it, the taste of it, no, can't do it. <laughs> so um, those are my cravings and food aversions to give you guys an update. It's not very exciting. Um, but it's something. <laughs> it's still super exciting to know that we're having a boy. Um, now that we know the gender, the number one question that Anthony and I get is, is what are you going to name the baby? Uh, do you have any names picked out? And honestly, Anthony and I have not thought of names at all. Like I know we need to do it. We know we need to do it. I, and the other day I went through a list of a thousand boy names. Now I didn't read off every name, but like if I thought a name looked good, I said it out loud and Anthony would say yes or no. Anthony said no to every single name I picked out. So if that tells you anything, we're never going to have a name for this baby. So we are having problems <laughs> with that. We still have time. We are having issues uh, trying to find a name and it's a big decision and the kid is stuck with it for the rest of his life. So I want to pick something that I like saying <laughs> and something that sounds good to me. So uh, we still have time, but we are... Um, not doing the best at thinking of names. Um, I've always liked the name Preston. Um, I've said it my ever since I've known Anthony and just recently he said he doesn't like that name anymore. So um, that was out of standstill. And then we kind of like the name Archer. Um, and I don't know if I still like it or not. I worry too much that if I pick the name Archer, people are gonna call him Archie or Archibald. No, I hate all of that. I just want Archer. 
So I don't know if I even like that name anymore. I'm so fickle, I don't know what to do with myself. Another thing is I'm starting to look into parenting classes. Um, I have the hospital that I'm delivering at offers a bunch of classes that you can take. So they have birthing classes, breastfeeding classes, newborn basics. Um, and so I'm starting to look into those. Um, thankfully, they're offered a ton of different times. So I just have to pick one that works with our schedule. And I think I'm going to uh, schedule those for the, the end of February, beginning of March. Um, just because I don't want to do them too early and forget all the information. But I don't want to wait too close to my due date and go into labor early, heaven forbid, and not be able to finish the classes or take the classes in the first place. So I'm really excited to take those classes. I think that'll be really helpful. Anthony's not too thrilled, but he is going to go. I'm making him. They encourage partners to go to every class. So uh, too bad for him, he's coming. We also need to pick out um, colors for the nursery. Um, we are thinking we're gonna go with a blue or a gray or a bluish gray, um, somewhere around there. And so um, we just need to pick a color and paint it. Um, I'm not sure how much help I'm gonna be. I'm not sure if I can even be around paint while pregnant. I'll have to Google it. We did create our registry. We went to Babies R Us. I think I talked about this in my last video. We're going with the bear theme. So polar bears, black bears, blue bears. It'll be so cute. I'm so excited for that. Um, and my, of course my mom has gone crazy and has already, start, already started to get things off of our registry. So hopefully there will be a few things left for other people to get before the uh, baby shower happens. And that's going to be scheduled around the end of February. I think we're doing it somewhere around there. Um, and we're just going to have one uh, big shower with both families at it. It's going to be great. So here is my week 22 bump picture. So as you can see, um, baby is definitely there and definitely pregnant. Um, I have a bump going on. So here it is from the side, from the front, and from the other side. Um, again, here are my maternity pants and they have the belly so I can stretch it up if I want to or just leave it low. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm looking for 22 weeks. So I think that's all for this week. Um, stay tuned for next week. I'll be 23 weeks and see what's new and um, new things that I'm experiencing. Um, thank you all so much for following me this far. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel or like this video. Um, and if you have any advice for me, I'd love to read it down in the comments below. Bye, guys.